All right, so when you're designing your opening credits, your opening titles, there's sort of an order that they recommend you go by. And I found an article on evercast.us that talks about uh, what they're for. Now, time was, years ago, the only thing they'd have in the titles would be the opening title of the film. But now there's a lot of other stuff included, like the production company, the title of the film, actors and actresses, and you can kind of multiple choice and pick a few of these things to use. But what I did is I actually just copied and pasted this and put it in a document, and then I sort of embellished on it a little bit. So I've got my opening credits here, and ignore the link at the top. I've got that uh, as a link to a source. Uh, but then opening credits, you don't put the opening credits in. You just start here, and I put the list in place. Now, this one is different than my closing credits. The closing credits are a list that's just going to scroll by, and these are going to show up one piece at a time. So it starts with the production company, the title of the film, starring, and then we list off this, these. And these fade in one piece at a time where the closing credits scroll through the top. So the opening pieces, we're going to design a, uh, a Photoshop document. I'm going to show you how this works. But notice that they're all stacked up in one place. So the reason that that is is you're going to bring these in, and when they show up in After Effects, they're going to take one layer at a time. And the important thing is that you want to stack them up with the first ones to show up at the top and the last ones at the bottom. So that way they're going to build layers in After Effects uh, in the correct order, and there's a little less work to do if you get this part right. So to build this, we went ahead and said New, and uh, I got the New Document dialog here. I'm going to choose New uh, Film and Video, and I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080, which is HDTV 1080p is the, uh, the, name, of the, the name of the preset. And we're good. I got this now. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go back and forth between here and my list. So I'm going to start with Busted Filler Productions. And this one is going to be a basic, <laughs> excuse me, a basic design of what everything else is going to look like. So I'm going to right click this and copy or choose Control C. Go back to Photoshop. I'm going to grab my type tool. Uh, I'm going to click once instead of dragging. Just going to click once and paste. Now, that's close to what I want, but it's in the wrong color. I'm going to go with the color. Maybe I'll change this to white. And you sort of have to think of what's going to be behind this. Is it going to be on black? Is it going to be on white? What's it going to look like? So, I'm also going to change the size, which I should do when I can see it. Uh, so, let's bring this back to uh, black. There we go. So, I'm going to make this the size that I'm going to use, which may be closer to 36, not 36. Try 72. So I want this to show up nice and strong. Most of the stuff I put in place is going to be about this size. So I've got this, and having selected, I can then choose a line to canvas, and I can center it. So it looks good there. And I want to make sure I don't have any extra lines in there. So I'm going to open it up, and that's all it's got. So I've got this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the color now of it and make it white. And I meant to do that. Let's see. Open it up. It's got to be open. So now I'm going to change the color to white. And again, we want to make sure it shows up on anything. So I'm going to add an effect to it down here at the bottom of the, bottom of the uh, uh, layer panel. I'm going to make sure I've got that one selected. I'm going to choose FX. And I'm going to choose uh, Drop Shadow. And that should help it show up a little bit better. So now I can see it in here. And the goal here is to make it show up on any background, whether the background is light or dark. And sometimes in a film, it's going to go over both, or you can put it over a color screen also. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to add an uh, outer glow to it, which is in here somewhere. Here we go. And the outer glow is going to help it show up a little bit more. So um, set that up a little bit better so it's going to show up. Uh, choose the normal setup. There we go. So you want to adjust the distance, the spread, and the size to get the look that you're after. And now that's going to show up on anything. Having done that, I'm now going to uh, use it as a template for everything else I'm going to do. So I'm going to right cl click on it and drag it down to the plus button. The plus button makes a copy of it. Uh, you could also right click and um, uh, choose. If you right click on it, you can duplicate the layer. So I can make a whole bunch of these. And that's what I'm going to do is just right-click and duplicate layer. And I'll change the names when I get there. So I'm going to keep duplicating the layers. And I got to where you click 
has a determination on how well that works. So I'm right-clicking on the right end of the uh, the name there. If I click, if I right-click here, I get a different menu. So where I click gives me uh, some some controllers. Now notice that by setting up these these uh, these effects first, that now I only had to have done that once. So I'm thinking about the best order to do things in. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to take this copy here. I'll go back to my list. And I'll just keep copying and pasting. So I'm going to go there. Now notice I left out Cold Day in Fiji, the name of my film. Because right now I'm, I'm not working with that size. I'm going to have to come back and replace that. So I'm going to hide all these. I'm going to hide all those. And I'm going to go one thing at a time. So I'm not confused because otherwise I see everything, which is not always what I want. So they're starring. And now I'm going to start putting actors in place. And uh, we'll get back to the title. Now, as you may recall, we still need to get uh, the title in there. So if we don't have the title in there, uh, we've sort of lost a lot. So that goes after the uh, after the production credit and before starring. So I'm going to go starring. I'm going to add a new layer. And what I can actually do is just right-click on this and duplicate or drag it onto the new layer button, which is down here next to the garbage can. And make sure I go to the plus sign. So now I've got that one. And everything else is shut off. Let's turn this one back on. Let's shut off the other one that's down here. And uh, now I've got the starring copy. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go grab my title. And uh, I can't always remember what I wrote, so I'm going to copy it here. Be careful not to grab extra lines like this. Make sure you're only getting the line that you want, which is just that line there. And I should only have that highlighted. So copy it. And now I'm going to go back to Photoshop, grab this. And, and since it's got all the characteristics I want, I'm going to paste the name in there, but it's got to be bigger because it's the title of the film. So this should be the most dominant piece in the in the film. And so as I choose this, uh, let's get back in there. I'm going to double-click on it, and now I'm going to make this bigger. Now, 72 is the biggest size it shows in the menu, but you can always add bigger numbers. So I'm going to type in there something like uh, 220, kind of making this up. And that looks pretty good. And just as a thing that you could try if you want to is... Um, I'm going to make a fresh layer, so I'm going to put some texture on this. So there's my this, new layer on top of it, and I'm going to add um, a filter on this. And it's an empty layer. It's on a blank layer. So I'm over here on this blank layer here. And I'm going to use the Render Clouds option here. And that's pretty weird. I'm going to tune this up a little bit more. And I'm going to choose uh, another noise. Okay, just to give it some grain and some texture. I'm just trying to give it some grit. And uh, the bigger that is, the weirder it is. Let's try making a little bit less. So that gives us some variety in there. And now what I'll do is I'm going to um, uh, go back to this layer here where the text is. And I can choose this uh, selection tool. Or the, um, I'm going to grab the, uh, the magic wand tool. So I can do magic wand, even if I've hid the effects I know I got that. So if I go back to this layer here and click on the mask button down at the bottom, or I can right click and then can choose add a mask. I don't see it in here. Create clipping mask. So create clipping mask will then cut this all back to this. Now the only thing that's missing is it's missing my effect. So I could turn on the one down here, or I can just grab these effects from here by right clicking. Let's turn back on and uh, deselect. So it shows up this way. You can also grab this and choose copy layer style. Go to this layer and paste layer style. So it looks a little bit better. Kind of hard to read. So what I might do there is take this original copy, this effects copy, and uh, just give a little bit of an effect on there so it looks a little bit grittier. And this gives us more appeal. So that's pretty much how I'm going to make my uh, uh, my opening credits. And they're all stacked up. So if I go through and turn these all back on, I want them on. I want them to all be visible. 
So I'm going to click on the show hide button. It looks like an eyeball. And the one I want to hide is the background copy. So this one had this, uh, these checkerboards. And the checkerboard means this is opaque. opaque. It's see-through. So I've got all these layers on. And later I'm going to import these into um, After Effects. So now I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to save this. File. Save as. And I'm going to save it on my document, on my computer. I'm going to give it a name, which is opening credits. And on my computer, I've got a place where I want to save this to uh, in my passport drive. Maybe. Here it is. Demo titles. Okay, so I've got open creds. And I've got this. I've got a couple of versions I'm working on. And now I'm going to make another one. This next one's much faster and easier. So now I'm going to choose new again. And the new type I'm going to choose again is the uh, film and video 1920 by 1080. And sec accept. Now this time, much faster. So now uh, if I want to get interesting with this, I could go grab a layer from here just to not have to do that work again. So copy this. And then go back to the other one. And I should be able to paste it. Let's see if I'm right. There it is. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to fill this in. And actually, it's not going to work. Because what I did with this one is it's um, there's two ways of making text. If I click, then I get some text. But if I click and drag, it works a little bit differently. So in this case, let me destroy this. And if anytime you get one that says lipsum orum, or lorem ipsum, uh, that means it's not been typed in. So what I'll do this time is I'm going to go back to... Uh, my list. Now, my closing credits are different because they're written to flow in order to, to, to scroll through. So I'm going to grab all of these. I'm going to copy. Go back to Photoshop. And we're going to make this and there will not be enough room. There just won't be enough. So I click and I clicked and drag. And now I've got that all in there. So um, supposedly it's in there. So it's so, so it's busted by it's got the thing in there. So I'm going to choose this. And the only problem now is that I can't see it. So let me go grab some uh, effects from my other screen. This one I can copy and paste. So I'm going to right-click here. I'm going to copy layer style. I'm going to go back to this one, which I can't see. And I'm going to paste layer style. Where is it? You have to click on the right part of the... It's probably done here. There it is, paste layer style. So now I can see it all. But the thing is, I can't see it all. And uh, not only that, but there's big spaces between things. So what I'm going to do is open this up, and I'm going to go to my character panel. These ones are all going to be the same size, even the title of the film. So let me set this. The, the size of the text is 72. And this here is called letting. And letting sets the spacing between the lines. So um, what I do want to have is uh, some of these things should be spaced out a little bit. So I'm going to space out Busted Fellow Productions and Cold Day in Fiji. And now you'll remember that there's a bunch of stuff I don't have in here. Like uh, there's a bunch of things that I put in the list that are not showing up. So if I double click in here, I can grab this handle. And I'm in text mode, so I'm using the text tool. And also there's a spot in here where there's extra lines after this. So you just have to delete those. Uh, and if you did that, if you had that problem, in mine I did. And I'm going to keep making this taller until I see everything. And uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to keep bringing this down until I see everything. And uh, that should be all the pieces. Let me see if that's got everything. Eventually I run out of stuff. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the hand to zoom out. And I've got to make this taller to fit. So uh, I'm going to go to my zoom settings. And I'm going to set this to like 20. This is down here in the left corner. And I'm going to zoom out to maybe 25%. So what I want to see here is I'm going to change this to a taller document. So I'm going to choose image, image size. Oh, sorry, not image size. My bad. Uh, image canvas size. So canvas size changes the dimensions of your work. So I'm going to change the height to, I don't know, 4,000. I'm kind of guessing here. And what that should allow to happen is now all my credits should show up. And just in case they don't, I'm going to get in there and stretch them out a bit more just to make sure I didn't miss something. There it is. Oh, still there's more. Still there's more. Director Terry Gilliam is the last piece in there. If you haven't seen his work, he's pretty interesting. Time Bandits, Brazil, he made some pretty interesting films. 
12 monkeys. So that should be everything. And I can actually take this and set this to center. And that looks reasonably good. So now I've got my ending credits. So now I've done the work in Photoshop for the ending credits. I'm going to file save as. I'm going to call this end credits on my computer. All right, so here's this, and save. So the next phase we're going to get into is going to be in Adobe After Effects um, to put this all together.